السلام علیکم ہائے مائی نیم از تنہا شفیق ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل آئی ہوپ سو ڈیٹ یو آر آل فائن ود گڈ ہیلتھ اینڈ سیف فرام دا کووڈ نائنٹین آور ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک از اباؤٹ دا ڈیجٹس آف دا فور لم اینڈ دا ہینڈ لم ایکچولی دس از دا تھرڈ پارٹ آف دا مینس بفور دس وی ہیو ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ دا کارپس اینڈ دا میٹا کارپس دیر آر فائیو ڈیجٹس آف دا ڈاگ اینڈ ایچ ڈیجٹ کنٹین تھری فلنجز accept the first digit and the naming of digits is based upon the numbering and the numbering start from the medial to lateral first digit second digit third fourth and fifth digit while each digit contain three flanges and the naming of the flanges is based upon uh, the location in the body and these three flanges are first flange second flange and third flange first phalanx is proximal to the body that's why it is also called proximal phalanx second digit is also called middle and third one is also called distal phalanx as it is present distal to the body as we have talked about all digits contain three phalanges while the first digit is only digit which contain two phalanges this digit is also called polex or ducla uh, so let's talk about the general anatomical points about each phalanx uh, f- so the first phalanges of main digits that are second third fourth and fifth uh, it is basically four sided shaft which are slightly curved and long the proximal end of each has a concave surface for the articulation with the metacarpal bone and it is deeply notched behind uh, there is a trochlea at the distal end for the articulation with the second phalanx and on the lateral side of the distal end a depression is present for the ligamentous attachment this is all about the first phalanx i am repeating first phalanx is just like uh, a shaft which is four sided and it is slightly curved and long the proximal end the proximal end has a concave surface for the articulation with the metacarpal bone and there is a trochlea which is present at the distal end for the articulation with the second phalanx and lateral side of the distal end contains a depression for the ligamentous attachment now the second phalanges are about 2/3 of the length of first phalanges proximal end contain an articular surface that consists of two cavities and separated by a sagittal ridge while the distal end is wider than the first phalanx now the third phalanges of the second third fourth and fifth of the dog are modified to form claws it contains angle crust that overlaps the claw and forms a band of the bone around the proximal portion of the claw this rounded dorsal part of base is the extensor process on which common digital extensor tendon inserts similarly on the palmar surface flexor tubercle is present for the insertion of deep digital flexor tendon the claw which is curved extension of the third phalanx it is basically called angual process now we are going to talk about the sesamoid bone on the palmar side nine palmar sesamoid bones are present two are found at each metacarpophalangeal joint of the chief digits while on the first digit there is usually single flattened sesamoid bone is present now these are the proximal palmar sesamoid bones while the distal palmar sesamoid bones remain cartilaginous now on the dorsal view we can see that nodular sesamoid bones that are dorsal sesamoid bones these are present at the metacarpophalangeal joints there are the proximal dorsal sesamoid bone while the distal are also cartilaginous bones present between first and the second phalanx here i want to clear a concept to my students that volar and the palmar are the interchangeable terms that are used in different books volar and palmar means the surface of the forefoot 
that touches the ground on which the animal stands and one thing more i want to clear uh, that the students always ask uh, what is the difference between digit phalanx and phalanges digits mean a complete finger and this digit contain three bones that are first phalanx second phalanx and third phalanx no the phalanx and the phalanx are the same term used in different book now let's talk about uh, digits of the hind limb the first digit of the hind limb is often absent in dog but when present its development varies consist of one or two phalanges the phalanges of other digits are same those of the forelimb there is no major difference between the digits of forelimb and the hind limb except the first digit that's all about the digits of dog i hope so that uh, you have understand the anatomy of digits uh, please like the video if you have question then ask in the comment box and give your suggestions stay blessed allah hafiz